This is the T18 Artemis torch from Brianite. Just to be clear, I was sent this torch for free by Brianite. All I want in return was an honest review and some thoughts. So, here they are. This is the whole pack that I received. So obviously the torch at the front here. I've got a red pill, an infrared pill, green, and I also asked for an ultraviolet to try as well. This is the remote control. Now this is already paired to the torch. You don't need to pair it up. It allows you to switch your torch on and off and adjust the brightness up and down. This works by switching the torch on, leaving it in the on position, and it instantly starts controlling it from here. There's a figure of eight clamp provides as well, if you want to make the torch weapon mountable. Spare set of seals. Now I've left this in because this actually sits in the back of the torch when you receive it to separate the battery compartment. So just be aware that's in there. There's a hand strap for the torch, I've taken that off. Instructions and your lead, your power leads. Now, this clamp here doesn't come with it. I've added this so I can add it onto a Picatinny rail on the rifle. So I had it out, testing it. And I want to show you how to change the pill. Very, very easy. Grip it here, grip it here. Twist. Now what I've done is I've put some additional grease on here just to make it a bit smoother. It is greased when it comes, but I've just added that little bit extra, a little bit of silicon grease just to make it smoother. So you remove the lens. Twist this back, expose the pill, twist the pill, and it comes out. You can see the connectors in the bottom and the threads on the inside. Again, on the threads, I'll put a little bit of silicon grease just to make it smoother because it's aluminium against aluminium. Just want to make sure it's, it's okay. Right, we'll put the red pill in. So, really simple crack it open, drop it out, drop it in, and screw it in. Put it in till it's just next tight. Hit the power button to check it's working. Lens cover. Back on there. Good twist and lock it down nice and tight. Okay, that's on. Now you can focus the beam in by twisting out. And you can widen the beam by bringing it back. The only drawback I found with this is when it's wound back in, it's nice and sturdy. When you wind it back out, it's nice and sturdy. If you're midway, you get a little bit of play on that. Now if you use it as a torch, it's not really going to be a problem. If you've got it weapon mountable, and you need to adjust that just to the right width of your focal length, focal width of your scope, that may be a problem. And you'll see on the footage in the top here, how just moving it to there, and that much play really moves it on the scope picture. But as a torch, it's not a problem. So maybe that's something that Brian and I can look at. Probably need a longer thread on there, so there's more stability when winding it in and out. Okay, just show you the remote control working. So power, off, on, and we've got dial the power down, turn the brightness on, and we'll turn it back up again. Beautiful. And the beauty of that is, it's got VM tape on the back, so you can make it weapon mountable or you can simply tie it through there and hook it onto a pocket or onto a zip. Um, with regards to the remote control, the only thing I don't like about it is this USB slot here. Now this USB slot is used along with this lead to charge the remote control, but the USB cap doesn't quite fit into the hole there. You've got to be very careful. It will eventually go in nice and flat. When I got it, it didn't fit very tight, so just be aware of that. But once it's in, it's quite a nice snug fit there. So again, just to remove the red pill. Just show how quick and easy it is to replace. And just that extra bit of silicon grease has made it very, very easy to twist against those threads. And there it's all going. Oops, switch that on. And again, remote control control all of that. Turn that down. Back up again. Now, this whole unit is powered with a 21700 battery. 
unscrew the back, drop out the battery. It's a single battery cell, 5000 milliamp hours, 21700, 3.6 volts. What I like about these is, turn it around, USB charger in there. Plug in a USB-C lead, stick it on charge, and a USB socket, and the light. There's a little light LED indicator in there to tell you it's charging. Once it's fully charged, whip it out, drop it in, drop the back on again, and you're good to go. Now this mount here, as I say, doesn't come with the unit. I've used this so I can mount it onto a Picatinny reel on my rifle. That is essentially it. Very, very simple to use. Very, very easy to swap out to the different pills. Now, I think they come with red, green and blue, or red, green and white. I asked the ultraviolet to do some additional tests and I asked the infrared because I was looking to use it weapon mountable for ratting. So we'll have a look at some writing footage and see what you think. Let's see how it performs the distance. Keep an eye on the bottom right hand corner, that's the distance to the target, calculated by the range finder on the air rifle. This is the trees without the illuminator and with. I really am impressed with this torch actually. It throws out a lot of infrared, so what I'm going to do for the next minute or so, I'm just going to ping a few objects and buildings around the farmyard. Remember to keep an eye in the bottom right hand corner and that'll tell you how far away it is and you can see for yourself the quality of the torch. As I was ranging this target you can see Charlie Fox in the bottom of the screen there so you can see for yourself target identification is made so easy with the power of this torch. Remember, the bottom right shows the distance to the target and that's calculated from the rangefinder on the air rifle. So you can see the sort of distances that this thing is reaching. And you can see the trees there are quite white, so that shows a lot of infrared getting thrown over them. Now those trees there are lit from the underneath, so don't be fooled, that's not all the infrared, there is a white light underneath those. This is the UV pill. And if you watch here, you can see Mr. Rat glows quite nicely in the ultraviolet. He doesn't like it, and he's very quick to bolt off. But the ultraviolet's nice because you can sometimes see rat urine left behind. So it is quite a useful pill to have. The range on this thing is astounding. I reckon you're going to have very clear vision out to about 100 yards, no prop at all. I think it's probably going to something like 150, 200 yards with a good solid beam. Very, very bright indeed which is really impressive for a torch. It's only 160 millimeters in length. The lens is 55 millimeters. The housing is 25 millimeters wide, so that's perfect for any scope rings if you want to mount it on a weapon. With the battery, it weighs in at a mere 268 grams. The runtime, hard to say, because I was using it for two and a half hours on and off on the infrared pill. But then when I finished and I packed up for the evening here, I put the white pill in and left it running constantly for an hour after the hour, I gave up and went to bed. It was still burning solid bright white light. So it does have a very, very long and reliable run time. Charge time is probably two to three hours, I would guess. Now the barn I'm illuminating here is about 40 yards away and you can see the quality of the beam and the clarity of the light. Let's have one final look at the specs. Please check the description, there's more information in there and there's also links to Brynite. Thanks for watching.